Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Rajesh Singh from Department of Geology, University of Lucknow. In this lecture, I am going to demonstrate clinographic projection of the pyrotohedron. Pyrotohedron is made up of 12 pentagon faces. So it is composed of 12 pentagon faces. It is closed form and it belongs to the pyrite class, pyrite type class of the cubic system. So it is not the belonging to the normal class of the cubic system. So the symmetry element will differ. Wait. So these are the pentagons. Okay. Each pentagon have five sides. Okay. And each sides may be equal may not be equal so this is the uh, this pyrotohedron has a special kind of pentagon in which the four sides these four sides are of equal length and this one side is of longer than the other four sides so four sides are of equal length okay and other one side is longer than and each axis intercept the midpoint of the this longer axis so they are you can see these four sides are of equal and this side is have larger are longer than the other four sides okay so I am holding if like this this you can see two pentagons one and two and it is joined by the longer side okay so this is the midpoint of this side is the one of the end of the crystallographic axis so you can hold by putting your finger in the mid of these points then you will hold it through the crystallographic axis like similarly this is the another crystallographic axis and this one is another crystallographic axis this is a3 this one is a1 a2 a1 and this one is the a2 okay so these will show each face this pentagon face will cut one axis at unit distance other crystallographic axis at twice distance and it will be parallel to the third one general symbol of this pentagon is hk0 our unit symbol will be 210. Pyrotohedron is two types. One is term is positive and second one is term is the negative. This one is considered as poetry in which the front faces are parallel to the A3 axis. This is these these lines are parallel to which this vertical uh, a3 axis so this will consider as the positive when you will rotate it 90 degree you will get that negative one that you can see the this longer edge is parallel to the which one the now horizontal one so if you uh, now it will consider as a1 and then it is parallel to the a2 so the difference in negative and positive pyrotohedron is when this lo longer edge is parallel to the a2 then it will consider as negative when it is parallel to the a3 it will consider as the positive so now i am going to show you the symmetry element hold from its midpoint of the longer x edge above and below both sides Likewise, front and back and 
left to right. These are the crystallographic axis. When you will rotate, you will find how many? Only two fold of symmetry. Again, rotate like this. You will get how many? Two fold of symmetry. And again, rotate like this. How many? Two fold of symmetry. Now, hold it from here. Where these points, three edges of this uh, other four sides are meeting. This is showing threefold roto inversion. That's why it also have center of symmetry because threefold roto inversion is equivalent to threefold plus center of symmetry. Okay, the common mineral is pyrite. Moving on, now I am going to demonstrate clinographic projection or drawing of the pyretohedron, which is consist of the 12 pentagon faces, in which four sides are of equal length and one side is longer in comparison to the other four sides. Before starting, if you have not watched the making of and preparation of the clino uh, isometric system axis of the isometric system then you go and watch it i am starting here from the axis of the cubic system so first draw the axis of the cubic system okay now rename the in points the positive and negative part of the a1 a2 a3 axis okay so o is the intersection point of the all three axis so from O, you can find out the positive and negative sides of the axis. H, OA is the positive of the A1 axis, OB is the negative of the A1 axis, OC is positive of the A2 axis, OD is the uh, negative of the o A2 axis, OE is the positive of A3 and OF is negative of the A3. Okay, these are the sides. So, similar to the trisactahedron, tetrahexahedron, and trapezohedron, here also we are going to determine the midpoint of the each sides, positive and negative side of the each axis. So, these are the midpoints. To know or to determine the midpoint of any line using the compass you can also watch a video available on the youtube okay and some procedure also demonstrated during the trisactahedron tetrahexahedron so i am not going to demonstrate it now we are going to again do the similar thing which have we have done in the trisactahedron that is we are going to join the midpoints and end points of the positive side of the A1 axis with the midpoints and end points of the A2 and A3 axis. That is, when we are taking the end point of the positive A1 axis, means A point A, then we will join it with the midpoints of the positive and negative side of side of the A1, A2 and A3 axis. When we will take the midpoint of the positive side, then we will take the endpoints of the axis. Okay. So these are the lines which are formed by joining the midpoints and endpoints of the midpoint of the one side of the axis and endpoints of the axis another axis okay so we get, uh, get four points these points are similar to the tetrahexahedron the pq rs okay now similar to the uh, tetrahexahedron we will do what draw the parallel lines means at p and q we will draw the parallel to A3 axis and at R and S we will draw the lines parallel to the A2 axis. Right. Another we will get four intersection points. These points are 
T U V and W. Now the work will be different from the in tetrahedra I had drawn for making the front face we have to draw only joining U T V and W with the G. But here we are going to draw two more lines, four more lines joining the midpoint of the A2 axis positive and negative signed with the end points of the A3 axis. So draw it. Now we know that in Pyroto uh, had drawn each face is made up of what? Each side is made up of a pentagon. And pentagon a special kind in which the four sides, these four sides, one, two, three, four are of equal and this one side is of longer in comparison to the four sides. And there are two types of the pyrotohedron. One is term is the positive and second is term is the negative. In positive, this uh, side which is unequal in comparison to the other four will be parallel to the A3 axis. Okay. And in negative, it is parallel to the A2 axis. So we are going to draw the positive pyrotohedron. So first we will draw a line from the G and parallel to the A3 axis. Then we will draw the other lines parallel to the A1 and A2 axis. So draw it. So this one is parallel to the A3 and passing through the G and these lines is to R passing through the parallel to the A1 and passing through the I and J and, and these are the uh, two lines are parallel to the A2 axis. So we will get the eight intersection points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So name it. We will get two more points when we will draw the white face of the pyrotohedron. Okay. So now this is the side which is of the unequal length of the pyrotohedron. So this will make the top if you are holding it is visible. This one is the front which is this GAL to G. A K. This one is front, and this is the top, which is the K E A to K E I, K E J to K A K E I. This line. Similar, these sides are the parallel to the A one axis. These two. So now start drawing it. So this is the front faces. Two faces will be covered. Yeah, will be constructed after drawing the bike construction line from the negative side of the A1 axis. So let's start that also. There are four midpoints, uh, intersection points we will get. Again, we have to draw the parallel lines from each of them. Again, we will get the four more intersection points. Now, when we draw these lines, the bike construction lines, we get two more intersection points here. Okay, so mark it. These are I C H and Z D H. Okay, these are the two. After getting these two points, we can complete the face of the front end okay now the front face is completed now we are going to draw one line which is passing through the edge and parallel to the a3 
and mark the points so these two points we get which is just opposite to this front one now draw the bike faces of the pyrethroid drums so now drawing is completed so i am going to remove the construction lines so this is the drawing of the pyrethroidrum a perfect pyrethroidrum this is the cardboard model and this is the clinographic projection of the pyrethroidrum now regarding miller indices so this is the front so this is top bottom front back left and right okay and you can get the how many to fold of the symmetry here you can see this face this is the one face this one and the one face is this one so this face is this one and it intersecting a1 axis at unit distance and a2 axis at twice distance and it is parallel to the a3 how we can know you can see this is passing a3 it is parallel and here also i kept these lines red lines that's why this line is parallel to what a3 axis and this edge is containing these lines means this face will be also parallel to the a3 axis so the miller indices of this face will be 2 1 0 similarly this face will be 2 1 bar 0 now with this face this face will have the intercept which axis a3 axis at unit distance the a1 axis at twice distance and parallel to the which one a2 axis because these lines are parallel to the a2 axis so miller indices of this face will be 1 0 now this one similar to that but here one zero two bar because it is intercepting at unit distance negative side of the a3 axis so this one is the perfect pyrethroid trans now i am going to give some color to it and removing these parallel lines so you can see the beautiful perfect pirate to head run thank you for watching